One day, Thomas and the Incarable were at the station. The guard blew his whistle, but Thomas didn't move. Come on, Thomas, said the driver. Come on, or we'll be late. I can't, said Thomas. Why, said the driver. He was very puzzled. It's a secret, said Thomas sheepishly. Thomas, just because you have a secret doesn't mean we can't wait, said the driver. Oh, come on, Thomas, said the coaches and the Clarabel. We will all be late. I'm sorry, said Thomas, but I can't. Yes, you can and you will, said the driver. Yes, you can, said the coaches. The guard blew his whistle several times, but even he tried to say, Come on, Thomas, I've blown my whistle so many times and we're all getting tired of waiting. I'm sorry, said Thomas. The fat controller was in his office. When he got the telephone about Thomas, he left immediately. Here comes the fat controller, said the driver. He will be cross if we are late, said the coaches. What is wrong, said the fat controller. Thomas won't go for some reason said the driver. Then, he whispered quietly to him. He says he's got a secret, but I tried telling him the secret doesn't mean that he can't wait. I see, said the front controller. Come on, Thomas, said the fat controller. Whatever is the matter, I'm sure it can go away. He tried saying politely. I'm sorry, but I can't, said Thomas. He still wouldn't go. The fat controller was cross. Very cross indeed. Hurry up, he said, or you'll be very late. Please tell us why you won't go, they all said. Please, Thomas, what was your secret? I'll tell you why, said Thomas, but it is a secret. There's a burst nest in my funnel. Everyone was surprised. They all went quiet at first. And then they said, We're sorry, Thomas, but if you had told us straight away, we would have understand. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before, but I panicked about it. The fat controller smiled. Don't worry Thomas, but I'm afraid you're gonna have to stay here until the baby bird learns how to fly, he said. I'll send Percy to quietly come and pick up Annie and Clarabelle. Percy arrived quietly. He had to take Annie and Clarabel in a different route. Thomas enjoyed staying at the station where the bird was in his funnel. He made some new friends. But he did get bored afterwards. 
They had to close the station until the baby bird learns how to fly. And after that, Thomas was finally free again. And even his funnel was clear now. But he hoped something like that could never happen again.